we've known each other for five years, four years of separation. We've had three rounds of dating, two missions served and one love. And uh, I think that's the coolest part is like, we've been through so much together, but it's been uh, an amazing journey together as well, so. First time I met Spencer was when we went to a tryout for Dance Collegiate at BYU-Idaho. I have no idea what compelled me to audition for their contemporary dance team, but I did. I remember him dancing on the dance floor and I thought, oh, he's a really good dancer. I guess he came up to me during this tryout and was like, hey, you're such a great dancer. I called my mom that night. I was like, mom, there's a super beautiful girl at uh, the dance audition and I don't know if I'm ever gonna see her again, but hopefully that happens. Our first date, we ended up going to Sammy's. So I remember walking there because we didn't have a car and it was super cold. I just remember it was snowing that night. And then he walked me home after that. That was our first date. I remember writing in my journal too. He's super tall and handsome. Our first kiss was probably the most awkward kiss of my life, not gonna lie. Probably the worst kiss. <laughs> I was saying goodbye and then like, but she wasn't expecting it, so I went in for it and then it was like, just awkward and then I pulled back and she like went in for it to try to not make it awkward for like a second kiss but then it just turned out to be way more awkward than the first one <laughs> and so then I was like all right so I just like like ran home uh wait wait, wait same time you can't don't, don't jump the gun if you jump the gun you can't jump the gun okay here we go basically before I went on my mission uh, we were really good friends. While he was on his mission, I started dating other people and I kind of felt like I always had him in my mind. And then I came home and she was working at the BYU bookstore and uh, we just kind of hit it off from there and started dating again. When he got back off his mission, I fell in love with him. Um, finally. <laughs> and our relationship had definitely kind of taken off. We had a lot of feelings for each other. I wanted to marry him, but I had this feeling that I needed to go on a mission. I just wanted to be there for her, and I knew that she needed to go on a mission, and I wasn't really ready at that time to get married, and we weren't at that point in our relationship yet. It was kind of like a bittersweet time. We kind of had to just keep some of those feelings and some of the, the things that we had inside of us, you know, inside of us. We didn't have any expectation for when, when she was gonna come back. I was 99.9% .9 sure I was going to marry her. <laughs> she didn't know that, I didn't tell her that. Actually, the, the moment that I probably knew I was gonna for sure marry her was the day that I saw her for the first time. Um, I was walking back to my apartment and I just had this amazing, overwhelming experience where I just had a, a picture in my mind of her in her wedding dress um, turning and, and facing me. And, and that for me was such a, a special moment and I just knew that this was this was my my woman this was um, my future wife so after my mission about one week after <laughs> I left with his family to Cancun Mexico that's when we decided um, and had thoughts about getting married and the first time we actually said I love you So Spencer proposed to me three months after I got back from my mission. He told me to meet at BYU Provo after work and he ended up calling me and was like, hey, come out. And I was walking down and this random guy comes up to me. He held out his hand like this and he's like, I'm going to escort you to your limo. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, uh, I picked her up in a white limousine jumped out of the limo and basically said, I love you, Nicole Chesler, and she was like completely shocked. So I hop in the limo with him and we drive to the Riverwoods. Um, and at the Riverwoods, we're walking. He's like walking super slow. And I look to the right and I notice pictures, but 
they're pictures of our faces. And he gets down on one knee and he asks me to marry him. And I said yes. You're the most amazing woman I've ever met, and I can't imagine spending my life with anybody else. And I love you so much. Jordan, Nicole Chesler, will you be with me for eternity? And will you start our journey together? Will you marry me? It was uh, nerve-wracking, but it was it was great. Spencer, I just wanted to give you a little message, a little shout out, and say that I'm so excited to marry you. I just want to say to you, Nicole, that I could not be more excited to marry you. I'm really excited for this journey that we get to take together. And I love you. I say that from the bottom of my heart that these last five years, have been absolutely um, amazing and would have been completely different if I um, hadn't met you. And I love you with all my heart and I'm grateful for the relationship that we have. And I look forward to the many years ahead. I love you there.